Hey, Brandon here for another Be Free Builds cargo camper update. I'm going to show you how I installed a black water tank under my cargo trailer as part of its conversion to a camper trailer. So here, right in front of the left wheels, is where I'm going to install this 14 gallon black water tank. It fits between these beams with room to spare. It's all sealed up except for the drain, so I'm going to have to drill some holes in it. I'm adding these 2x2s as spacers since the cross beam is in the way. This also drops the drain location a bit, so it will be more accessible from the side. These metal flats are going to be attached to each beam and hold the tank from above. With three of them, I expect this tank to be well supported. I drill two holes in each beam for the bolts for the first strap. I bolt down one side, then pull the tank in before attaching the other. Once I get the first one done, I drill the holes for the other two straps. I attach the straps on one side first, then I slide the tank in to validate the spacing. I want these straps as tight as I can get them, so I pull them hard and attach the bolts. I've got the tank pulled forward a bit, so when it pushes back, it'll wedge tightly into the straps. Once I get the second one done, I move on to the third strap. These wooden braces fit tightly against each side of the tank. This should ensure that it doesn't shift around under the trailer. Of course, this is done on the front, back, and sides of the tank. Here the excess metal is turned off with an oscillating saw. Finally, I tighten the bolts firmly for each strap. And here it is all strapped up and braced in. Of course, I still have to put a valve on here for draining and test the straps with something in the tank. For now, I'll move on to drilling the toilet hole and the vent hole for the black tank. This requires a hole through the wooden floor, then a hole into the waste tank, which will be sealed with a grommet. The vent hole is pretty close to the shower and the toilet, so this is going to be a pretty tight bathroom. Once I get the floor holes drilled, I work on drilling pilot holes for the tank holes. I clear off the burrs with a knife, then I dry fit the grommet. Then I repeat the process for the vent hole. Here I generously apply sealant to the seam of the grommet and around the hole. After getting it installed, I realize I've installed it upside down, so I remove it, reapply the sealant, and install it the correct way. Then I do the same for the vent hole, installing it correctly the first time. Here it is all sealed up and ready to install the toilet and the vent pipe. Here you can see the toilet water supply line coming in from the wall. The toilet's a bit closer to the wall than I would have liked. If I planned a little better, I probably would have given this toilet more room, but it should work fine. <laughs> 